Hello everyone, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a wireless Wii sensor bar in just a couple easy steps. What you'll see right here is the box for what I got this in. It says high output infrared LED on it. You can see right here on this Radio Shack receipt that I got three of them for $5.37. Now in this video we're only going to be using two of them, but I got three because I can use one for a spare in case something happens. Um, what you see right here is you take a AAA battery, I really don't like Energizer, but we'll use it anyways. And you take that LED out of there, and you want to make sure that you have the positive end uh, on the positive terminal of the battery, because if you don't, it will ruin the LED, which is like a buck seventy-five or buck seventy-nine or so. Anyways, you're going to connect that onto there, and you'll see that right there, that's an infrared light. Now the camera can pick it up, but you won't be able to see it. It does the same thing as the five transmitter, the five LEDs in each side of the Wii sensor bar. What I'm doing right now is making a second one. We're going to put one on each side about where the real Wii sensor bars go. As you can see, it's like a, almost like a, uh, the springs in a battery pack, how they'll hold the battery in. Well, that's kind of what the edges of the uh, um, ends of the LED lights are doing the contacts they're kind of holding down themselves to the batteries and we're going to make this real simple and easy no connections or anything else I'm just going to set them right up here you'll see them the blinking lights are inside the Wii sensor bar there's five on each side for a total of ten of those LEDs I just showed you what I'm in right now is the Wii settings menu if you go to the second page and click on sensor bar you'll come up there, there, will, there will be two choices that come up, one that says uh, uh, sensitivity and one that says sensor bar position. You'll want to click on sensitivity, hit the A button twice, and you'll come into this right here. And what you'll do, what you see right here is I'm going to pick up the Wii Remote, and on each side there you can see uh, the blinking ones are, again, the sensor bar lights. The, the solid lights are the ones that I just made. I'm going to pick up the Wii Remote right now. I'm going to point at the screen. In the end of the Wii Remote, there's a little camera that actually picks up those lights. You can see it right there. The two big lights, the two big dots on the screen, are the Wii sensor bar dots. The one on the right is the one of the uh, uh, LEDs that I just hooked up to the AAA battery. On the left side, you'll also see another one now. And those are all being picked up by the Wii Remote. What I'm going to do right now is unplug the Wii sensor bar. Okay, you just see it powered off. Now you'll see just two dots, almost exactly like the Wii sensor bar. They're doing the same thing as normal. When I move the sensor, or when I move the Wii remote, it moves with it. As you can see, the Wii sensor bar is not plugged in right now. I'm just using those two LEDs hooked up to AAA batteries right now. I'm gonna go into Wii Sports. We're gonna start this up and see what we can do. Just to prove to you that sensor bar is not plugged in, I'm actually gonna take it off of the TV and show it to you. And no, I'm not tricking you. This is honest right here you can see right here I have the Wii sensor bar right there on my hand and also the end of it and uh, okay you'll see the two lights up there are doing the same exact thing for Wii Sports and any other Wii game as the regular sensor bar so you could use this for maybe a projector or something we're gonna go into tennis and I'm gonna show you a quick game we'll choose one player that's my me Okay, B. Okay, we're gonna start this game. We're gonna do a singles match. Singles game. Single game. <laughs> okay. And the serve from me after I put my Wii strap on, which you need to make sure you do or you don't want to lose your uh, Wii remote into your TV. Right now we're volleying back and forth. It's kind of difficult to see. Okay, I got it right there. He's gonna go. Return it. I'm gonna hit it over on the left side. And now I'm gonna hit it right on the right side, and they can't get to it. And right now I'm gonna show you that this is proof right here. I do not have the Wii sensor bar plugged in. I'm gonna disconnect my Wii remote. I'm gonna reconnect it, just so that you can see that I'm not. I haven't rigged anything. This is all what you're seeing right now is the truth, and it's as simple as this. Uh, and again, since Nintendo has nothing to do, like they're not backing this, I can't guarantee that there won't be any problems. But then again, it's also not touching the Wii, and so that means nothing can hurt your Wii right now. 
So, then again, I'll show you. Simple as that. Two AAA batteries, two high output LED lights from Radio Shack. For about five bucks, you can do all this in about ten minutes. Have fun. We rocks.